Hello, Masi. Hi, my name is Christian. I'm from Santiago, Chile, and I'm making a video entry for your contest. I found out your channel a couple of weeks ago and find it very interesting. I really, really like your, your videos you're making. You have a huge collection. It's really, it's really awesome. And I, I am very glad to participate in your contest. So here is my entry for your first question. It was an album that I think that everybody should own, and I and I'm picking one on one I think everybody should own is "The Dark Side of the Moon" by Pink Floyd. What can you say about, about this record? Is it's absolutely amazing from the end to the beginning. It's a it's a masterpiece. It's from 1973. This is a, a reissue of the, um, I don't remember the year, but it's, it sounds fantastic. I still have to get this one on vinyl, but as I have it on, on CD, I can, I can play it every day in my car, in my, in my iPod, in my stereo, but I think everyone should own this album. It's great music, great lyrics. The band plays absolutely fantastic. So here it is, question number one, Dark Side of the Moon. The second one, um, show a record that to, to get me to get you in the mood. So I pick up this one. The band is uh, sorry about that. It's a band name is DAD or Disneyland After Dark. They are from Denmark. They have to change uh, their name or uh, modify it in, in, in some way because they were, they were going to get in some trouble with the Disney company. This record is from 1987, I think, 89, on the Warner Bros. label. It's the debut on a major label, especially in the States, because previously they have some records uh, in, their, in, their, in their home country. On a small label, I think Medley is, is the name of, of, the, of the label. They have uh, around two or three records prior to this one. I showed you this clip. It's really, really good. Uh, unfortunately, they were, uh, they were put in the same sack as the other, as the other uh, glam bands or I don't know, hair metal. I hate that that uh, t -t um, that way they 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 call the bands. As you can see, they were going for for some makeup, some makeup, uh, the hair. But it's really really good uh, hard rock uh, songs. Uh, it's a uh, really short uh, records about. Uh, 39, 40 minutes. You have re really good uh, tunes. I think uh, um, they had um, a couple of uh, videos. Uh, Girl, Girl Nation was the one that I, that I got to, uh, to see that and made me uh, want, want to grab this record. So here's one. If you want to get a good kick of uh, hard rock to start the, the party or get yourself going, DAD. I can hardly recommend no fuel left for the pilgrims. So question number three, show an album uh, with beautiful cover or packaging. So here I have a couple of them with a beautiful cover artwork. I found this one, Sticks, Kilroy was here. I found it Really, really good. It's a gatefold. It's kind of a, of a concept album. It's an awful record. I really hate it. I don't like it in any way. But I think the artwork is really, really cool. This is one. I have another one. The Mighty Sabbath with Sabotage. Really good. This one is on the Warner Bros. 
This is an original pressing that I got from a, from a friend when I was in college, I think. And here is one that I hope uh, you don't laugh because I don't really, I don't like this artist, but I have this record when I was really, really young. I don't know why that is. This one, this guy. I'm gonna show it quickly. And that's all. The only thing I like about this record is Billie Jean because it has a solo by Eddie Van Halen. So, yeah. And because I've, I'm in an extra for that question, I, I have this CD from the band Tool. And it has a really cool packaging. It has some um, glasses here so you can actually see the the inside of the of, of the of the CD the pages the the, the picture and you have to put it like this so you can and go seeing the pictures in the in the in the inside the, the, the CD it's really really cool. Unfortunately, you you cannot see it in the video, but trust me, it's a really good packaging from Tool, and the and the and the record is ten thousand days. It's the the last record they made until the one that's supposedly coming out by uh, by the end of of August. After thirteen years, we are going to have another record by Tool. So here it is. Next question uh, was uh, showcasing artists whose entire catalog you own. Here I'm going to show two of them. Um, one is my favorite band, Iron Maiden. I have almost everything. I'm still missing. I think I'm going to grab it someday. Um, the two records that they made with Place Bagley, I don't like them. I kind of like a couple of songs but I think they, they could have done something better. So Iron Maiden. And the other one is, uh, I have, well, I think almost everything. I think I'm missing a couple of records of Judas Priest. This is uh, an original present also from Sin After Sin. I think I'm missing a couple of, I think they're missing the, the ones with uh, uh, Tim River Owens, uh, Jubilator and the other one, I, I, I don't remember the name, but I think I'm going to grab it, get get them. I don't know, in the in the in the near future. Next question: um, Show an artist who who released their first album in 1969. Unfortunately, I don't have ma many uh, albums of the of 1969 or in the in the, in the in the 60s. The only one I have is. Uh, the Mighty Led Zeppelin with their debut only on CD. This is the latest re reissue uh, they made. This album is from 1969. So here it is. Uh, show your favorite album from 1969. Um, I have the same thing, the same problem. I don't own many records from 1969. But my favorite from that year is uh, Led Zeppelin 2. This is also the, the latest reissue. Great record, absolutely fantastic from the beginning to the end. Nothing to say, it sounds fantastic. So here it is Led Zeppelin 2. Um, so that's I think that's all the, the questions. Ah, for the for the bonus, as you can see, I'm wearing this beanie. I don't have a hat, but well, you get the idea um, to show uh, to name or uh, the, your three favorite bands: the, the Beatles, um, the Kings, and the Birds. Unfortunately, I don't have uh, many albums. I have I I don't have a, a new record from the from the birds or um, kings or the bills. From, from the bills, I only have this one. This is um, 
the greatest hits is number one it has all the the number one singles on one CD this is an Australian uh, pressing I got it uh, from a friend who, who, who used to live in, in Australia he sent it to me because I mean, honestly I'm not a big um, Beatles fan I kind of prefer the uh, the Stones but this is the only one I have so as, an, as a bonus here it is the Beatles so um, that's uh, my entry for your contest um, once again I found your channel really really good uh, you show cool uh, pickups records artists I think your collection is awesome I wish one day I could have uh, a collection as big as that but um, who knows maybe in the, in the in the future I will get some 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 of you or some quantity of records as you have so once again um, I'm Christian I'm from Santiago Chile here in South America um, so that's I think that's all I covered all your questions I were in this so once again congratulations and I hope to see you in, in the future bye bye